What is that? That's a nuclear deterrent development. Really? It's like a nuclear bomb? Oh, hell yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to do some research in the MAM. We're going to hit another couple milestones, and I also want to show you uh, my road pieces that I built. So let's start with the road pieces real quick. Um, so, yeah, I, 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 I actually don't have anywhere to build the road yet, but I wanted to, to just get the pieces ready to go. Uh, so when the time comes, we can do that. Um, it, it didn't really seem, you know, make a lot of sense to me to build a road to nowhere, so to speak. <laughs> I mean, I could probably guess, uh, where we, we, we might need to do that, but I figured, well, let's just, you know, do it when we need to, but at least we'll have the pieces ready. Okay. So anyway, um, let's start with this road with support here. So the idea behind this piece is that it's got a support on it and this is just kind of the the top part so what, what whenever we want to do a road support which I figure probably we will do every 12 tiles uh, or foundations and the reason for that is well for there's two reasons these are all in sections of four first of all but also um, that's the length of a railroad track so the idea is that we have the road up here but then we have a place down here for us to run a, a railway too uh, so we kind of have you know do both of those things at the same time okay so that's the first piece and then what we'll do next is we'll grab this um, flat section here and oh I gotta be out of blueprint mode for this and we want to flip it around th this way okay well if I do it from this side okay yeah we can do it from this side the thing that'll make that a little tricky though is if we are um, I mean we're not gonna have power when we're out in the boonies building this road so I don't know maybe I'll have to use my hover pack or something so that's uh, the other flat section, and then if we want to, we can do another uh, road, uh, road with support section. But here again, we're going to have to get out here. Okay. Yeah, that, that might not... Uh, that might be tricky when we're out in the boonies, but I, I mean, I'll figure it out, right? I'll figure out a solution. But the thing I wanted to show you is, so this is a 12 uh, section span. And now what we could do here is we can go to transport and grab a rail. And because I've got a, a half block in here, the rail is kind of strange, but oh, let's try that again. There we go. And then we can just run the rail along the middle here, like so. So that's the idea anyway. Now I'll show you a couple other things here too real quick. Uh, lost power, that's right. Let's get rid of this piece. And we'll get rid of this piece. I also uh, made an incline. And that looks right. So yeah, connecting the inclines is e pretty easy to do. Oh, I'm out of stuff. Okay, but as you can see, um, it's, it's pretty easy to just keep connecting them as you're going up. But as you're going down, it's a little bit different story. Now, I wanted the underneath side of these roads to have a little bit of character too. 
So the flat pieces have a one meter block and then a one meter ramp going up on both sides for a kind of a nice effect. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a piece that I could fit on the incline pieces. So I just have the one, you know, concrete piece going up the middle, but you know, it is what it is. So for doing this thing on the downhill side, it's a little bit weird, but what you have to do, I'll just show it to you. Um, let's go here. We'll do it on this side. You have to take a foundation and put it here. Uh, yeah, uh, right, okay, and put that on vertical. And then you have to go down one, two, three. I think you have to go down three more from there. So basically we're five meters down from the top. And then what you do is you get the incline and you turn it this way. Why am I? I should have gotten those materials back. Okay, hold on. I need to go get some paint. All right, let's grab the incline here. And if you aim it right at that very bottom piece there, and then it looks like I need to go over one click there too. Then it works. Then you just have to come down here and remove those. So it's a little bit weird, but it, it's just kind of the way the, you know, the blueprint came together. And But you have to keep doing it that way too. I mean, I can't now take one of these and attach it to here. I've got to run more of those blocks down. So what I did is I just, you know, did a catwalk with a stairs. Now, I, I've seen other I've, I've seen other people make these with catwalks and ramps, and it's kind of like a little zigzag thing up, and I, I don't really like the look of that. I prefer this one. Um, so we just have, you know, one flat piece and then a stairs to get to the top. So that's the way I built mine. So if I try and attach this... Um, as a decline, it, it still doesn't let me do it because it, I need to aim right in this position here. And so we got to, you know, do the thing with the blocks again. So there you go. Oh, I, and I also have, I didn't show you, but I also have a corner piece too. There we go. So we can then, you know, turn it and go that way if we want to. Or we can turn it the other way. Lock it in place like that. So this road is as wide as I could make it with the blueprint designer. So it's basically a three tile wide road instead of a two tile wide road like I've been using up to this point. Uh, but you can't really make it any wider than that unless you made like half pieces on the lengthwise too, which you could, you know, if you really wanted to build a big road, but it would take twice as long to build, to, you know, set the thing up. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I just want to show you guys that, and we'll just kind of keep these uh, road pieces ready to go when the time comes. But uh, it was kind of fun building them, so it'll, I'll look forward to Putting them in place. But we need a destination, you know, like I said, to to take them to. Uh, by the way, I haven't seen your guys' comments from the last episode on the tower colors, so I've, I haven't done anything with it yet. It's still colored on this side and white lights on the other, so I'm recording this episode on the same day that I recorded uh, or finished recording the other one. All right, so let's go ahead and start with milestones. Hazmat suit is the next thing. Um, we are going to, of course, want the hazmat suit for when we have to start working with uranium, but I also want these extra inventory slots. We're going to have to handcraft these aluminum casings. Um, well, I mean, I guess we could... I guess we could set up a, a temporary constructor over there because we are making aluminum ingots. And for the um, 
let's go ahead and select this. For the filters, those have to be made in a manufacturer. Now it says I can make them in the equipment workshop, but, oh, wait a minute, equipment workshop. Right, I was looking in the crafting bench. Sure, okay, yeah, so we can make them in here, all right. So we just need coal and fabric and rubber. So what I may, might do then is I might um, I might make those by hand while I'm waiting for these aluminum, what, what are they called? Aluminum casings to be made. So why don't we run over here and we'll put the aluminum sheets on hold. I've got, I mean, I'm just sending them into the sink right now anyways. I've got tons of them. And instead, what we'll do is we'll divert the aluminum ingots coming out of here into a constructor and make ourselves some of these ingots that we're going to need. And we'll likely uh, have to set up a, well, I'm assuming we'll have to set up a permanent deal uh, for these later. But let's put that right about there. That moved over at the last nanosecond. I want it to go there. Okay, so we're going to cut this belt here. And instead we're going to connect it into here. There's a little bit of clipping going on there, but this is temporary, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's set this to aluminum casing, and it'll actually make 60 per minute, which is pretty fast. We'll just stick a, a bin there for it to go into. Very cool. Okay, so let's just make up a whole crap ton of those, and because um, we're going to need them for other things too. Uh, other uh, milestones, I believe. So we'll make a bunch of those. And if we end up, you know, needing to make a permanent production line of that, those we can as well. So I need to make up 50 of these filters. I'm just going to do those by hand here in the equipment workshop. So when I have uh, those 50 made up, I'll bring you guys back and we will do this next milestone. All right, guys, we are ready for this. Let's go ahead and pop in the quick wire, the aluminum casings, and the filters. And do the hazmat suit. Three spots unlocked. Milestone reached. With the new hazmat suit and iodine-infused filters, you will be protected against uranium-based radiation. All right, fantastic. Next up is aeronautical engineering, and um, we're going to need to make radio control units. That is made in the crafting bench or the manufacturer. And for that, we're going to need the aluminum casings, we're going to need computers, and we're going to need crystal oscillators. Okay, how many of those do you want? 50. Okay, the rest of the stuff is lemon squeezy. We just, we just need 50 of those, and that's going to open up, well, it's going to open up drones and supercomputers and the other stuff too, but it'll also open up this, which will be our first item that we'll work on towards the uh, towards phase four, these assembly director systems. Uh, all right, so let's see. Radio control units require the aluminum casings, crystal oscillators. See, I don't have, uh, I don't have these being made at all, but we could, you know, do a little temporary setup. I got tons of computers and we're in the process of making those right now. So it takes 32 of those to make two of these. Okay, so we're gonna need a manufacturer for these. So why don't we temporarily set up a manufacturer over here, I guess. 
and we'll make a bunch of oscillators. Wouldn't be a bad idea to have a few more of those on hand anyways, because we need them for other things like signs, like the big signs. So let's plop a manufacturer down here. Again, this is all just a temporary thingy. Uh, put it right there. Okay, let's set you to make oscillators. And we will also overclock you to the max just to make it go even faster. Oh, incidentally, I have over a hundred um, coupons now, which is cool. That may be the maximum amount of tickets I've had at one time since we started this playthrough. So that's kind of neat. Okay, so this this is going to crank out two and a half per minute. And let's just connect the power there. So you, what do you need? You need um, cable reinforced plates and quartz crystal. Okay, I'm just going to spaghetti this because, again, it's very temporary. Um, and, yeah, so we'll just spaghetti it. If it's something I was going to leave in place for, you know, a little while, I'd do it a little more neatly, but we're not, so don't worry about it. All right, so that's the cable reinforced plates. All right, here. And we need to run a line over here with the quartz thingies. Alright, and then we just need to put a storage bin. Okay, there we go. So we will make as many of those as we need to do this, and then, like I said, I'm going to make some more too, just so we have some extras. But we're going to need... Uh, radio control unit. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, uh, we just need one per. Right, okay. No! Yeah, we just need one per. So we just need to make 50. Actually, well, no, we only need to make 25 because we get two of these radio control units per thing. But it is going to require th 32 per two. So basically 16. So 16 times 50. So we're going to need 800 of those aluminum thingamadoodles. Okay. Let's go see uh, how that's going. Well, we have 157 so far. <laughs> okay. It has been uh, a long time, actually, since I've even looked at this man, let alone done anything else, anything with it, you know. Um, we have a lot more hard drives we need to go out and get at some point. But let's just kind of go right down from the top and see what else we can do. Um, so this needs crystal oscillators and uh, what are those things? High-speed connectors? You know what, though? I don't really care about this. <laughs> I mean, we could... Let's let's hold off on this because I honestly just don't give a rat's ass about it. I mean, that's not to say we won't maybe do it at some point, but you know, we need high-speed connectors for other things more important, right? So, uh, right. Okay, so I want to get uh, to programmable splitters. So, and I also want to get this bullet guidance system because that'll get us the rifle. And see, both of those things need high-speed thingamadoodles. Priority power switch. That needs a bunch of high-speed thingamadoodles. Okay, what does this need? High-speed thingamadoodles. Power pork, uh, uh, power pull mark three. You know what though? That does. That's not a prereq for this. That's its own thing. So we're gonna also have to manufacture some uh, by hand some high-speed connectors. 
Uh, but I do want to get to this programmable splitter for sure. Let, let's come back to that. What, what's left here? Uh, that just needs Nobilis, Mycelia, and Biomass. That should be easy. Uh, there's that. I guess we're going to have to make some Biomass. I don't have any Biomass, huh? All right, let's take this wood here and let's run over here and I want to set this to a wood based biomass and let's make ourselves some biomass Toxic Cellular Modification. The analysis of Toxic Cellular Modification is completed. Please choose a new node and tree to begin a new analysis. Okay. So this gives us a gas novelist. I'm assuming it knocks out the critters without killing them. Synthetic Polyestic Fiber. Ooh. That would be nice to, uh, to put that all that uh, resin that we're just turning into plastic into something else, too. Um, yeah, so we need 25 fabric and 25 of the resin thingies. All right, let's grab... We should have a little more fabric, yeah, in here. Okay, so let's get 25 of those. I'm going to put these back in here. And I'm going to run over here and grab... A hundred of these resins. Okay, I'm just gonna pull them straight out of the refineries. Let's take our hyper tube back, it'll be just a little faster. Okay, synthetic polyester fiber, let's do it. That must be what this is. Hmm. Oh, that's actually really cool. We could we could change all of our machines uh, up at the top of the Tower of Power uh, to make make a bunch of fabric for us for a while, uh, or even on a more permanent basis if we need it. You know, a regular supply of it. Oh, super useful. Okay, cool. Because we're already running the water in there. Uh, well, we're running both of these things. We All we have to do is change the recipe. And instead of, you know, throwing all that stuff into the sink, <clears throat> we could even, we could even just make a storage bin for it. And that way we have a big supply of it. Um, if we did that, we would need to tap into this belt here. Um, just because that would be the easiest thing to do. And there's plenty of room on this belt. Um, but I would have to put. I'd have to put another smart splitter on somewhere to separate that out. I wonder... I want to look at something here. We could send it out the front port here. And, uh, yeah, we could, we could hook it into here, or we could even, since it's only going to be doing fabric, we could run it just directly into 
a container. So I'm thinking center output fabric. Attach it in there. Yeah, so I think we're going to do that. Let's um, let's just put this on fabric. And, you know, un these aren't far enough apart vertically for me to use a lift. So I think we'll just go with that. You know, I mean, it's... That's good enough, I suppose. And for here, let's just put in... couple of those little minor clipping there but I'm not gonna worry about that okay cool all right let's run back to the tower here and we really just need to divert the belt that's currently just throwing plastic into the sink uh, up onto that conveyor belt and then we're golden let's take that off of there and we'll grab ourselves a, a Mark III lift. Attach that to there. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the sink here because, you know, at some point we may switch back to sink and plastic again. But it looks like we're gonna need a merger. Right about there. Yeah, it's not going to line up quite the way I want it to, so I'm just going to eyeball it. That was a terrible eyeballing job. Merger needs to be more like right... I'd say there-ish. It's okay that I'm sending plastic down the line because it's just going to sink until I switch it over to cloth. It's not a big deal. Okay. That's better. Straight enough to not be an eyesore. Okay, let's just go up here and change all of these recipes over to fabric. Doesn't matter if we don't have quite the right ratios as long as it doesn't uh, plug anything up. It needs to take in it. Well, actually. Okay, hold on. We better actually look at this. We are producing 600 resin per minute. 300 on this floor and 300 on that floor. So if we use this, that's taken in... Th oh, that's perfect. Okay. That's exactly the exact amount. It's 30 per minute. No, it's not. Shoot. Okay. Because we have 600. Uh, what, these, these would only... Yeah, this is only going to do 300. Hmm. One way to handle it is to overclock it just long enough to fill up the bin and then switch it back to plastic. Or... Uh, or we... Put a smart splitter on this and just send the overflow into a sink. Can we fit a sink up here? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, we can fit a sink right there. Again, this is temporary, so I don't really care a whole lot about how neat it looks. I think I like that idea better than overclocking all these machines. Okay, we want overflow to go out the left. Oh, 
Okay. We should be good now to switch all these over. So let's switch this to fabric. We'll copy the settings and we'll paste to each of these machines. All right, so yeah, these will start cranking out cloth for us, or fabric. Uh, I should look to see if fabric gives us a higher value in the sink than plastic. I would think it probably doesn't because we could make fabric before we can make plastic. But if it does, you know, then maybe we just keep making the fabric instead of the plastic. I mean, I'm already making all of this plastic is already going into the sink anyways. There it is. Looks like fabric to me. Nice. All right, let's go see where we are with our aluminum casing production. We need 800 of those mofos. We probably have the crystal oscillators that we need by now. Maybe, we'll see. We have 600, 702, so we're almost there. Okay, let's go see how we're doing on the oscillators. Excellent, we have enough. We needed 50, uh, but again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this make up some more for us. Whilst we're waiting for all of that, um, what are we trying to do? We're trying to do, oh no, we. We finished mycelia. Nice. Okay. Well, Caterium is the one that needs all of those high-speed connectors. Uh, we're done with nutrients. We're done with power slugs. What does Quartz still want? Uh, radar technology. Uh, we have all the circuit boards. We have all the heavy frames, but we will need another batch of 50 oscillators for that. A radio signal scanning. We need... Oh, we can scan for hard drives. Oh, yeah, that actually would be pretty damn useful. But again, we need crystal oscillators for that. And we need an extra scan scanner, but we can make that. This we could we could do right now. Uh, we just need... Oh, shit, we need to make 100 Nobilis. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we can do that. We got all kinds of gunpowder over here that I haven't actually used since I started making it. Auto or automating, I should say. So it needs gunpowder and steel piping. Okay, this we can't just run straight across the road because we don't want to block our... Oh, wait. I guess I've already blocked our dude. Can does, can he drive through this? Where is it? He must be able to. <laughs> okay. He must teleport through it. I'll bet you that's what he does. That's still kind of jank, though. I didn't... I didn't consider that. Um. <laughs> That's how he gets over. <laughs> I know it doesn't take much to amuse me, but yeah, let's let's not do that. That's jank. Oh, I should have had that face in the other direction, but that's okay. And then let's do the same thing here. Can we get underneath? Uh, no. Let's go up two again. One, two. I know, I'm just kind of doing this all willy-nilly. But you guys know me by now. If I'm setting up something permanent, we do it nice and neat. If it's temporary, it's kind of a waste of time to try and make it neat, right? Got to be practical about these things, ladies and gents. Yes, indeed you do. Okay, I'm just going to throw these directly in there. Uh, just go and get started. Um, and I might not even bother running a belt. Just because we already have so much spaghetti going on here. But what I will do instead... Let's see, pipes are up here. Let's just grab a, a few stacks of these. 
and we'll put him in a storage bin to feed him in. And then of course we need something to store the the goods. There we go. Okay, cool. I need to make more of those anyways. That's funny, man. This is the this is literally the first time I've used this black powder since we set this up so long ago now. Just haven't had a need for it until now, you know? Because I made a bunch of novelists by hand and they've just lasted me for a long time. But we haven't been out and about exploring for a long time either. We've spent so much time here at the factory, you know, just doing stuff. Okay, I, we should have all of our aluminum casings now. Let's go grab those. We're just kind of all over the place today in this episode. It's kind of fun though, doing something a little different. Making some progress. Let's just grab all of those. Um, did I grab the oscillators? Yes, I did. Okay. So we were working on... Uh, was it this? No. Explosive resonance. What does that do, though? Is it like... Uh, it's pulse. Pulse usually means like electromagnetic pulse, but why would we u need electromagnetic pulse on this planet? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why we would need them. Hmm. I mean, we don't really have to learn those. I think we will, though, anyways, just, just to, for completion, but... Radar towers. I think those just find nodes for us, right? Oh, we do want to learn turbo fuel, but we're going to need a hard drive for that. And compacted coal, uh, which also requires a hard drive. Uh, smokeless powder we could easily do. In fact, yeah, let's do that one right now. Because why not? I think we, you know, I think we will research everything just to say we did it. More for the, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. The achievement of it, I suppose. Uh, all right, so. Yeah, we're still waiting uh, to make the radio control units. That's right. Let's load these motors up. Load those up. Load those up. Uh, what was that? Oh, aluminum sheets, right. Load those up. And we just need to make the radio control units. Okay, so that needs um, a manufacturer. So we need computers and aluminum thingies. That's a technical term, aluminum thingies. How are you doing on oscillators? We got 28 more. Okay. We need to keep making those. So let's let's make another manufacturer, yeah, but I'm going to put it here. And we're just going to actually take the output of you and throw you right in there. Set that to radio control unit. Um, let's also put you right here, and we'll throw all of these aluminum thingamadoodles in there, and run you into there, and then we just need to run some computers over here. And then we just need a bin on the output here. Radio control units coming right up. Uh, and let's overclock too, because why not? 
It makes two and a half per minute at default speed. And that will give us six and a quarter per minute. Hey, look at that, our first two radio control units of the game. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so yeah, we're basically contributing all of, uh, well, let's actually use these oscillators for research then, since those are going towards making the radio control units. All right, we'll grab these nobelisks. Oh, I came over here. Yeah, I grabbed the black powder. What was the other thing we needed to research? Uh, let's do that right now. Oh, can't afford. Oh, shit. I need three more Nobilis. All right. We can now make explosive resonance Nobilis. I have no idea what the hell I'll use them for, but I can make them, and that's the important thing, I think. There's two more things left here. Um, uh, radio signal scanning for hard drive, very useful. And radar technology. Let's do this one next because why the hell not? Uh, we're going to need with, uh, 55 more motors. And we're going to need the scanning doohickey too. I have one of those there. We can make another one of those. In fact, we probably want to now that we can find hard drives. Let's grab some more motors. Oh, right. We need more oscillators. Um... Well, we could do this one right now, the radar technology. So we need 20 heavy frames and 100 circuit boards. Star research. All right, cool. So I guess for radar towers, what would those be under? Logistics? No. Nope. Organization. Yes. Radar towers scan their surrounding area to display additional information on the map. It reveals resource node locations, terrain data, flora and fauna information, notable signal readings. All right. We'll play around with that and check it out, see what it does. I mean, it tells us what it does, but see how it does it and all that, you know? Very good. So the last thing in the quartz tree is this, and we just need to make 89 more crystal oscillators. How are we coming on our radio control units over here? Uh, nope, not that. We have 26. All right, so we're just a smidge over halfway there. I guess I'll make, I can make these oscillators by hand. It'll be faster. I don't want to interrupt that process is the thing. Um, there was something in sulfur that we wanted to do, right? Yeah, smokeless powder. Let's do that right now. Okay. Oh, here's the rifle. Nice. Very nice. Turbo rifle ammo. What is that? That's a nuclear deterrent development. What the actual fuck does that even mean? <laughs> I have no idea. <coughs> Nuke Nobelisk. Oh, are you... Really? It's like a nuclear bomb? Oh, my God. Oh, we got to try that out. <laughs> a cluster Nobelisk. Oh, I'm liking this, man. Explosive rebar. Okay. Yep. I'm digging that. Inflate more pocket dimensions. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Well, let's finish quartz out first. Let's finish quartz out first. So, yeah, I need to make 89 oscillators. I will do that and then I'll bring you guys back when I have those made. All right, guys. We have everything we need for the radio signal scanning. Let's do it. Fan frickin' tastic. Okay, so I'm assuming um, we do that with the object scanner, right? Let's just make another one of those since we had to use one. Um, and let's put that into here. 
Oh, yeah, look at that. Hard drives. Nice. I guess this is where the critters will go once we research that. Very useful. Okay. We're going to have to have another exploration episode anyway. Here pretty soon. I was thinking that. Love it. Uh, all right. Do we have all of our radio control units? We need 50 in total. Let's go check that. We need 10 more. Okay. So whilst we're waiting for that, let's go back to the ma'am and see what's what's next here. So we finished quartz. Uh, Caterium is the one that needs a bunch of those high-speed connectors. Uh, what was this one again? Eh, let's just do it. What the hell? We'll get it done. Uh, so we need four more oscillators. Yeah, let's make ten of these. Ooh, we can't make high-speed connectors in here. Do we make those in here? We don't. Oh, right, right. I'm I'm being stupid. Sorry. We got to research it. Uh, in Caterium. Yeah, right here. Okay. Uh, which we have stuff for. Wait. Oh, we need 20 quickware. Yeah, sorry. My brain wasn't firing on all cylinders, so what else is new? Okay, back to Caterium. High-speed connector. Let's do it. Beautiful. All right. That is a part, not equipment, so I'm assuming we make it here, right? Yes, we do. Okay. We need five, so let's make five now. And that way we can finish out the the critter tree. Huzzah! Okay, so now when we bring this thingy up here... We should be able to... Oh. Yeah. Enemies. All right. Nice. I'm sure that'll come in handy at some point. Next time we go exploring. Look at this. We're making progress. Alien organisms, mycelia, nutrients, power slugs, and quartz are all done. Um, That... Oh, let's do it. Stun rebar. Okay, we'll probably never use them, but what the hell, right? This needs 10 high-speed connectors and 500 of the... Oh, this is homing rifle ammo. Nice, okay. Uh, that needs 25 high-speed connectors. That needs 50. That needs 50 and 50 AI limiters. This is what I really want to get to. Uh, what's that? Oh, right. So we can find, um, like, geysers and, and put th these generator thingies on there to make extra power. That'll be fun to do when the time comes. But in order to make this, we first have to make th this. Well, wait a minute. What is this thing? Oh, that's rifle ammo. Uh. Oh, we learn it when we learn the rifle. I see. Okay. We could actually do that right now. Except for that we need to make smokeless powder. Didn't we just learn smokeless powder? Whoops. Uh. Smokeless powder. Can only make it in a refinery. Wow. Shit. <laughs> uh, and it requires heavy oil residue. Okay. Well, here's a thing we could do then. Way down yonder... In our original plastic and rubber production, we are 
taking the heavy oil residue from that and we're making the cheap coal, which the name escapes me, uh, 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 petroleum coke. Yeah, that's what we're making. Uh, to fire up those eight coal generators. We don't need the power from that place now, especially now that we've got our, you know, our 10,000 megawatts of fuel power. So we could, we could just shut that power plant down and repurpose those refineries. Again, and this could be, you know, just a, a temporary thing. We don't have to necessarily do it permanently to make us a big shit ton of smokeless powder. I believe that's what we will do. But probably not going to do that in this episode. In fact, I'll probably do that off camera because that's going to take a little bit longer and we're starting to run out of time here. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, right. Because, uh, and the reason why that's not showing up in, in here is because you can't make it by hand because it requires liquid. So now I, now I get it. Right. Okay. So I'll set that up, uh, up off camera so we can research rifles and rifle ammo and, um, get into some of this other really cool stuff here. Uh, we got to learn that. Yeah, we have to learn the compacted coal first, and we're gonna have to go out and find some hard drives uh, for that. This needs a hard drive. That needs a hard drive. Yeah, we can. We can also get you know more inventory space too. We're done with quartz, and then cotarium. Was there one of these things that needed a hard drive too? I don't remember. Supercomputers. But wait a minute, though. Don't we learn supercomputers? We're gonna we're gonna learn supercomputers from this milestone. Please tell me that's not a prerequisite for something else. Oh, for Pete's sake! <laughs> Why do we have to research supercomputers if you're gonna give it to us? just to unlock these. Ah, uh, whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. I'm going to go grab some more aluminum casings and get everything else ready. And I will bring you guys back when we're ready to uh, achieve aeronautical engineering. Alright, guys. We are ready to finish this up. Here are our radio control units, uh, here. And it's a done deal. Milestone reached. Aerial transport of resources is now possible with the use of drones, ideal for shipping across long distances or difficult terrain. Ensure the presence of batteries at drone ports for optimal results. A new project part enables progress to the next phase. Beautiful. All right, so let's see. The new project part is, this doesn't say what it is, does it? We're in tier eight, ladies and gentlemen. That's amazing. Nuclear power, uh, advanced aluminum production. Leading edge production. Miner Mark three. nice. Uh, th this is another project part. And particle enrichment, including a particle accelerator and nuclear pasta. <sighs> yeah, sounds like uh, something I want to eat with my spaghetti, nuclear pasta. Very cool. Okay, so let's go back to tier 7 for a minute and look at this again. So assembly director system. Oh, so that's made in an assembler. Right, so it requires supercomputers and adaptive control units. Okay, so that's going to be... Those are, are, are going to be our next uh, production lines. We need to make 4,000 of those suckers. Uh, let's take a look at something here. If we go here 
and we do that. It makes 0.75 per minute. We have to make 4,000. <laughs> That's going to take a while. Okay. But our first, you know, first we have to do a chain for adaptive control units and supercomputers. Um. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna require some major planning. Okay, so we are we've made it to tier eight, ladies and gentlemen. Again, uh, the furthest I've ever been in this game, so it feels good getting that far. But there's a lot of big stuff in here. It's gonna take a while to get get to all of that, and. Um, so I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. As far as research goes, um, you know, we still need to do these things. I'm a little bit miffed <laughs> that I have to research supercomputers when I already know them, but that's the way it goes, I guess. Um, yeah. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I can make all of that stuff, of course. And... Um, I also want to get these programmable splitters, and I want to get to the global, uh, or I'm sorry, the geothermal, geothermal generators. Those will be nice to have. And then, of course, we need to uh, do compacted coal and turbo fuel, but we're, we're going to need to find hard drives for those. And the rifle requires the smokeless powder. That requires smoke. In fact, yeah, these two require smokeless. That requires nuclear rod thingamadoodles, which uh, is going to be a ways out. But as soon as we do any one of these, then we can also do these pocket dimensions too. So aside from the nuclear deterrent development, the rest of these uh, we should be able to to do pretty quick. Uh, well, in fact, you know what? Maybe we will go uh, do another exploration episode in the next episode uh, just so we can find two more hard drives I've got a few marked on the map too that we still haven't nabbed and uh, go from there all right cool so great progress today had a lot of fun hope you guys enjoyed um, all of the stuff we did too I've got uh, 200 almost 300 noblis made I might actually want to make a few more of those but I'll figure that out later uh, what I'm gonna do is off camera is I'm going to get a setup going so we can make a bunch of smokeless powder um, repurposing our little baby coal plant. I'll, I'll leave the coal generators there so we can revert back to it later. Uh, but uh, we'll use that to, to make some... You're going to run me over? Uh, smokeless powder. So I'll get that going. And um, the tentative plan, like I said, for the next episode will be for us to go do some exploring with the primary goal of finding at least two more hard drives so that we can uh, you know keep working on that research thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch y'all in the next episode Bye bye